Hi everyone, uh, it's great to have you with us today. I'm really glad that you can join us. Um, I hope that the beginning of this new term has gone well for you. But even if it hasn't, uh, we have a God who is concerned about our world and about us. In fact, he's given us a really special mission, actually. And we're going to look at that as our new series in the book of Acts. In your Bibles, you will find the book of Acts. Uh, no, not Acts. Acts, A-C-T-S. It's after the four Gospels, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, and then the book of Acts. But actually the story follows on from the end of the book of Luke. Uh, it's got the same author and uh, the first few verses of Acts explain that he's just carrying on the same story. It follows right on from the end of the book of Luke. So let's go back and recap what's just happened at the end of Luke and see how that links to the beginning of the book of Acts. God's masterpiece. God is with us. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Jesus is the savior of the world and the son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness performed many miracles, like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing, and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen, he was alive. Woohoo! Huh? Hey oh! Ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. So, that story covers the last part of Luke's Gospel, and also what we are going to come to in future weeks. Uh, we'll look at uh, chapter one next week and start chapter two in a couple of weeks uh, when we'll look a bit closer at when the Holy Spirit came upon those disciples. So we've got that to come. But for now, today, we're just gonna have a big overview of the book of Acts, like an introduction to the whole book. So what are the themes that come out for the whole of the book of Acts? What's happening? Well, the disciples, you know, Jesus' friends, they're being sent out uh, to spread the good news about Jesus into the whole world. The good news about Jesus, his life, his death, his resurrection, 
will be spreading out a bit like this. A bit like the ripples in a, to a drop of still water. They travel out from one place. So they were travelling out from Jerusalem into the surrounding area of Judea and Samaria and then across the world, just like those ripples come out. And Steve is talking to the adults about the unhindered movement of God. But what he just means by that is the spreading of the good news of Jesus all around the world. God was moving in a really powerful and special way to make that happen. So we have this ripple effect spreading out from Jerusalem across the world. But what is actually happening on ground level? Well, people are telling other people about Jesus. This amazing news, they're sharing it with one another. People are gathering together to listen and learn. Now, that sounds quite familiar to us, doesn't it? It sounds a bit like, well, it sounds a bit like church. The church is born. That's what's happening in the book of Acts. So here's a few kids to help explain what's happening. Hey kids, do you remember the day you were born? Probably not, because you were just a little tiny baby. Well today, we get to hear the story of how the church was born. Unfortunately, no pictures though. They didn't have cameras back then. Let's take a look at the Bible and get started. First. Jesus sent his disciples to tell the world about God. After Jesus died on the cross and rose again, he went to talk with the disciples. He told them something very important, that they needed to go tell the world about him. He wanted everyone to hear about him, so they could put their faith in him and spend eternity with him. So they all traveled to different places to tell the world about Jesus. Did you know that Jesus tells us to go tell the world about him too? Then, Peter's first sermon surprised everyone. Do you know Peter the disciple? Well, everyone back then knew he was just a regular old fisherman. So they were really surprised to hear him preach a sermon. He went from catching fish to preaching to a huge crowd. Can you believe that? It was very surprising to see Jesus use a regular guy to do great things. Did you know that God wants to use you in big ways too? Next, the early church grew faster than anyone expected. On the day that Peter gave his first sermon, 3,000 people became Christians. That's a lot of people. That was probably a super exciting place to be. Merry verse. All the believers were united in heart and mind. All the believers there became really close to God and really close to each other. Did you know that God wants us to grow closer to Him and our Christian friends? Everyone who believes in Jesus is part of His church. We put a big capital C in church because we aren't just talking about your church. We're talking about God's church, which is every Christian in the whole wide world. Even though when none of us were alive, when it was born 2,000 years ago, we could still be a part of it today. It all started because a few people went out and told people about Jesus. And Jesus wants even more people to be a part of his church and know him. So kids, go out there and tell more people about Jesus. So, Jesus came into the world as a human for his special mission to rescue the world at the beginning of Luke's Gospel. And Acts is part two of that same mission, where the church is born and people begin worshipping the one true God for the first time all across the world. It's now no longer just the Israelites and Israel and Jerusalem that get to hear this great news. And now, today, is part of part three. Jesus involves us as his disciples. It's our mission now too to show people what God is really like and to tell people about Jesus. The world is God's concern. He cares for it. He wants people to know him and to be loved by him. He's working by his Holy Spirit through ordinary people like you and me. To remind us that 
the whole world is God's concern and that wherever we go, we can t be telling other people about Jesus. To remind us of that, we've got a craft for us to do. Now you can print this out at bit.ly forward slash acts intro craft. bit.ly forward slash acts <laughs> intro craft. I think it'll be easier for us to draw the Leicestershire County Council logo rather than the outline of our county and the England flag rather than the outline of our country. But you can have a go if you wish. Uh, if you haven't got a split pin to hold these pieces together, like in the picture, then you can get an adult to help you poke a hole through with a paper clip and they can be hanging from that paper clip. Uh, you could use that in a similar way if you want to. But this may take you some time, uh, particularly if you're going to do it really nicely and colour it in really great. So, when this next song is finished, uh, you can take it with you back into the other room and rejoin the rest of the church family there. But for now, let's get started on that craft and let's be singing along.
sense.